Good morning. Well, that is morning for me. I don't know when I'm posting this. Maybe afternoon, maybe night. Who cares? Welcome back again. Um, today I am going to be talking about the Orion. Now, I haven't had this on the channel for, oh, must be at least come up in two years now. This car we got, um, I'll put the link in it from, uh, we got it two years ago from my friend Gaz. Had a 1.6 CVH in it. Uh, as an, it's only an LX, this originally. Um, but it was fitted with a 1.6 um, fuel injection out the, the gear. A full gear interior in it as well, not to mention obviously the RS line body kit, painted in Fiesta, uh, frozen white, which kind of makes it really pop. I wasn't a big fan of the engine. Uh, I really wanted a turbo in this. I, I think these really should have came with a turbo. So we bought a donor car not long after I bought it and decided to take up to PBS Engines, my friend Peter Bracken, who stripped everything out of the donor car and implanted it into here, and we just sold off the bits and bobs that we, we, did, we didn't use. The donor car was an XR3i, the back end was a complete write-off, um, but everything, you know, from the tailgate, for, uh, from the, the back seats forward were spot on, so we managed to get quite a lot of the stuff we needed to, to change it over. It has now got an RS turbo engine into it and it runs as sweet as a nut. It's probably one of the best RS turbo engines I've heard running in a long time. That, um, bearing in mind the car originally that they came out of had sat for you know a year or two in a, a barn, you know, out of the way. So it's good that the, you know that turned the key and it has gone well. Added to the fact Peter's obviously uh, he knows what he's doing with these engines, so he got it running pretty pretty spot on. Um I've got to be honest, I'm not sure of what I'm gonna do with this car. Um, I'm trying to love it, but you know when something just doesn't click, I mean it takes a great picture, I love it, but I haven't actually had a, a driver other than to bring it home, um, and it's sat, and I'm like, what do you do with it? You know, I know the other cars sit, but I'm just like, do I get rid of it and sell it? Do we auction it off? Do we raffle it? Um, or do we keep it and just make something, you know, proper old school that gives me something else to go to, to shows in, something that's just that, that little bit different to the RSEs and the Cosworths and whatnot, but it does get a lot of attention, um, it's a cool car, but it does need tidied up quite a bit now, um, you know, the, you know, we've got cracks in the paintwork in the, the sills here and whatnot, and you know, just silly wee things that you, you don't notice until you start polishing and cleaning the car that you realise, right, we need to get this attended to before it gets any worse. So yeah. One or two things that need to get sold or fixed, but I'm going to show you this engine in here because it's it's, it's pretty cool. You know, RS turbo engines are, I, I love the sound of them. I think the burble's minted. I think the dump on them's awesome. So why not have it in Orion? Folk wouldn't be expecting it because they didn't come with it. I added to the fact this one's, you know, runs sweet as a nut, which once I connect up the battery, I'll show you just how nice it is. Now, I've literally just connected up the battery in this. This will, this will probably bite me in the ass. But this is the only RS Turbo that I know that I can turn the key and it literally just starts straight off. No hassles. Usually the cold start would kick in, but let's uh, see who's going to prove me wrong for once. Ready? <laughs> Mad. Mad. I mean, how many RS Turbos can sit for? It's sat for four months, back the unit now, and just turn the key and it ticks over as nice as that and idle. It just doesn't happen. Even Minty next door, I have to keep the revs up till we get up to temperature before I can actually take my foot off the accelerator to let it idle as, as nice as what this one does. Um, obviously, this is exactly the same as what the engine was like when uh, we got in the donor car. So, we have got to polish up this, maybe paint it, you know. Uh, the, the, the turbo fucking boost pipe to get done, yeah, you know, the inlets, your hoses, you know, just maybe tidy up a wee bit, just that, that little bit. Everything else is as clean as a whistle as you can see underneath. It doesn't use any water, doesn't use any oil. I mean, it's it's actually a really good engine, so I've actually, you know, won a watch with getting this one in the, uh, into the car.
So I guess that was just another quick update video for you all. Nothing mental. I'm going to have to try and get some driving videos out when my friends have all got time to, to give us a hand to go out and get some exciting videos out so it's not just me rambling on about what's and what's kicking about. Um, again, if you want, whatever you want to see in the channel, put it in the comments, let me know because, um, you know, this channel is always for you. So if you want to see the cars getting driven, you want to see inside, you want to see motion videos, just let me know because, you know, I want to give you what you want to see rather than me just sitting waffling on as, as always. But do that and we'll get it all sorted out for you anyway. But until the next time, you guessed it, take it easy.